Hi everyone, I'm sweating pretty bad. I just came from outside, but I am currently pet sitting. So, um, this video is about girl stuff, namely bleeding out of our crotches. So if you're not interested in that, now would be the time to go find another video to watch on this lovely YouTube universe. So, a backstory is that I was on steroids a couple of weeks ago for pain in my arm. Um, whether I make a video about that or not is a different story. However, uh, my arm is better and one of the side effects of steroids is abnormal uterine bleeding. So basically, I have been bleeding out of my vagina for the past three weeks and I'm not due to have my period um, for another week. So basically, I've been bleeding for an entire month. And that's making me run through pads like crazy. The bleeding is too much for a liner. And so it's just pads, 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 pads. Why don't I use a tampon? Because I used to use a tampon, um, but then I met too many people who had toxic shock syndrome due to tampons. And I even met a couple who have had limbs amputated because of toxic shock due to tampons. So I stopped using tampons. So what I am about to do a series is about how well they work um, for this abnormal uterine bleeding because I will only use pads during my periods due to the fact that my periods are so heavy that a super plus tampon can only hold it for like an hour and instead of like constantly like ripping tampons out of me and risking toxic shock I'd rather just use pads. I personally do not think that cups are able, not cups, discs are able to hold the capacity even though on every single box that I have seen um, it says like three to five super tampons. I don't believe that at all. I also will not use cups just because their capacity is super small and I honestly don't trust them. And I don't like the fact that they have like suction. So the reason why discs caught my attention was because they do this thing called auto dumping and you can wear them for 12 hours. So apparently you don't have to constantly dump it out. Um, it'll just do it itself, which I found is a hit or miss depending on what I am using. And also, well, we'll just talk about it individually. So, I have a couple of brands right now that I have tried, which is the two disposable ones and also two reusable ones. And I'm having another one I ordered off Amazon coming. So I'm going to try that um, due to my research on the internet, uh, finding out that disposable ones only come in one size. Every single manufacturer only makes one or two sizes. And finding a disc that works for you is kind of like Goldilocks. And so I'm sinking a lot of money into this project. So I figured that I would uh, make a video series about it. So the upcoming videos are going to be each brand that I have been using box by box, brand by brand, disc by disc. Um, and we'll see. It should be a short series because I'm only really planning on doing five videos. One, two. Yeah, five videos. Um, unless I find another disc that piques my interest, which I don't think it will. Um, so five videos after this one. So this is just the intro. So just know that bleeding vagina content is coming. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Anyway, thanks for watching.